What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Dice House on our DCO commentary. I am bringing here a video today for you guys to give you guys a quick first look. Not really first look because my man Neo uh, here in my league uh, put up one video already. But I want to give you guys, guys a uh, first look uh, at our uh, how we're progressing with the decoration of our first league hall. That's right, not just the first league hall, not just our first league hall, but the console sides uh, of the DCO's uh, first league hall. That's right, well, Meps confirmed it the other day. Uh, yesterday, actually, that uh, we were the first, at least on the USPS side. I'm um, pretty sure, though, you know, right after reset, we had ours down. And I'm pretty sure we beat EU out, too. I'm hoping so, <laughs> at least. Uh, but, yeah, here we are. Uh, this is the observation room right here. This is where you come out. Um, obviously, with the big window, everybody's been taking their pictures out there, you know, including, including ourselves, um, showing off, you know, the outside area right there. We uh, placed it down in the Sea of Serenity here. Um, big observation area. It's got a couple statuaries, some of the larger statuaries and all that. We're turning this into like a little like reception slash dinner slash, you know, bar area and all that stuff here. Flying on through here, uh, come across some more, uh, statuaries and all that there in the center of this area right here. And this is the, what's, what's called the central hub. This is looking really nice right now, uh, <laughs> from what we have, um, Come down this way right here. This right here is the data cores. This is where you'll find your mailboxes at. All right. Uh, mail, you know, obviously, you know, your own personal mail and everything. No league mail or anything like that. Right down there, that's the SOE servers. Uh, <laughs> uh, coming on down here, though, um, this is where the power core is. Uh, power core is where you guys will find, uh, you have uh, a wine amenity down here that everybody can use, the R&D stations and all that. But this right here, this is the big one right here. Oh. R&D stations. Uh, these are personal R&D stations. Unfortunately, we don't have like shared R&D right now, um, which would be really nice. Uh, but this is the uh, generator, okay? And this is where you code who purchases your proficiencies. As you can see right here, each proficiency costs twenty-five thousand prestige, and they are uh, they expire after thirty days. Uh, this one right here gives you uh, damage out, gives you three percent extra damage out. Healing out obviously does extra three percent healing out. Uh, health gives you uh, increased health by 5%. Power and supercharge is increased by 50% with that one. Critical attack damage is increased by 1% for uh, 30 days right there. Uh, might and uh, precision is uh, increased by 3% with that one. Support is the one first one we went. Uh, Domus Resto and Vit is increased by 3%. Uh, combat regen um, increase right there. Uh, see critical healing power chance is increased by 1%. Uh, right there with that one, uh, your power received uh, by 3%, healing received by 3%, uh, crowd control resistance by 3%, and uh, berserker damage, uh, when you are below 3% health, your damage is increased by 3%. Uh, these proficiencies are only relatable to PvE content, so having all this stuff for PvP would be nice, but, you know, can't get it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay. So you come back up here, and that there's your uh, mailboxes and everything. Come back through the central hub. This area right here is called the storage facility, right? So basically, you can put anything down right there. Um, right here, this is where you'll find your league bank. All right, so you go up to the league bank, and you'll see all you know, that you got certain items that are placed in there. Uh, in each vault. Each vault costs you, uh, I'm sorry, um, to increase that size and all, it's going to cost you 25000 to increase the size of um, that vault. All right, and to expand into a, uh, into a second or third vault is going to cost you an in increments, you know, going up in prestige. Like the vault 2 cost us 25000 prestige. You see, we're trying to spread our prestige out to upgrade the, uh, up, upgrade the hall while we're... Um, uh, while we we're uh, getting our proficiencies too, uh, over here is the do donation box and all that. You come over here, you contribute PVE items and all that. Um, certain items will have prestige value. Donate is for your league decorations and everything. You donate the league decorations to the league hall itself, and then of course you can slip over to the decorations and you can see exactly which decorations you have available for your hall.
Uh, then, of course, you come down here, and this is the security wing. You come down here, and all that. This is, of course, where all the practice dummies are at. Uh, I see a lot of people have been already been posting videos up, uh, like different loadouts and everything um, from the uh, test server side. Um, you know, where they uh, come down here to test out their loadouts and everything, show all the, the beautiful rolling damage flying up off the dummies. Uh, although, I got to say, uh, having those things down there um, is awesome because each one of them gives you power back. Of course, you know, here are the security cells and everything where you had different prisoners. There's a Bane Goon, Sinestro Core member. Uh, so we got Teal Moral Bot right there. And look, we already captured a Parademon. No, the DLC hasn't dropped yet, but we caught a Parademon. <laughs> Thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, he's mad. He's mad. <laughs> so, all right. So, come up here to the uh, back up here to the central hub area. All right. There it is, right there. All right, and then um, we want to head uh, this way here. Obviously, you see some more statuaries. Um, and then of course, then there's some statues. Uh, right here, this is what is called the command center. Right in here, there's they've got lots of plans for in here. You know, everybody's done this, right? So don't 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 don't, don't sit here and say I stole anybody's idea by putting that table there. Uh, anybody who's you know got any kind of creativity in their head at all was going to put a table right there. <laughs> but uh, you see right here, we got these monitors and all that are like showing different areas of the uh, um. Watchtower, or I'm sorry, the Watchtower of your League Hall, and everything. Uh, and uh, they, they've got other plans going on for those, you know, consoles down there below those monitors. What exactly it is, we don't know yet. I'm looking forward to finding out, though. Um, and uh, statuaries. Statuaries were unlocked today, so make sure you guys go in there and, uh, you know, unlock your statuaries if you can and everything. Make sure you guys uh, check that out. They were, um, currently locked when I record this video so could not do anything with these but looking forward to uh, getting on the game and uh, unlocking a couple and seeing uh, how those are working out and everything maybe I'll talk a little bit about it but that's about it here um, I just want to show you guys the observ observation room again all that it's pretty awesome view and all that I love the way they made it look and everything it looks pretty gorgeous out there um, Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked the video, please do so by giving it a thumbs up. If you've got your league call, let me know in the comments also. Uh, until next time, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.